type what you want your memory to be and some you have the dividers some doesn't update in real time and doesn't doesn't show your system memory speed in real time if it's not gonna show your memory speed in real time then you need to uh, divide um, your CPU clock um, divide uh, by 4 1 to 4 ratio as you can see or 1 to 32 ratio 1 to you need to find out first what is the ratio your memory set in and then you need to um, right now it says uh, it was setting at 1 4 but basically it was setting at 1 uh, divided by 3.2 so and you need to you need to know that you need to divide it but it's on the old motherboards you need to find out how to get the clock and memory speed ratios but in in most uh, enthusiasts motherboards today it's it's giving you the um, ability uh, of the dividers of the memory dividers uh, by the motherboard and also updating the speed memory speed automatically for you so you don't have to get the calculator and divide it and we need to make sure if my memory is designed for 1333 megahertz memory speed I need to make sure I'm not gonna pass that unless I'm gonna overclock my memory and I'm not gonna discuss how to overclock the memory today um, on the overclock tutorial it's going to be um, uh, DDR3 memory overclocking um, 102 so it's going to be by Mar Alexander Moroz uh, by morozacademy.com also let me just tell you this tutorial is going to be available at two uh, YouTube's channels um, by me one is youtube.com slash morozacademy and another one is youtube.com slash K R A S A V four I K eighty two, um, and also I'm gonna do um, uh, one of my ideas. I'm gonna do the website where I'm gonna teach you people or the tutorials. It's going to be morosacademy.com, and that academy website, morosacademy.com is again. That website going going to have this video probably as well. So. Um, all right, so what we get here? So you need to have those things. You need to have adjust the ratio or multipliers, but it's not necessary as again. You need to have the manual control over the front side bus, clock FSB. You need to have uh, the manual control over the memory frequency or the divider. And then you need to have the control over the voltages in this case I have it in this category and your motherboard is going to call that category gonna call differently and it's probably gonna be even located in somewhere else but you need to get the control over the voltages and two voltages is necessary voltage on the CPU sometimes it called the V core and the voltage on the north bridge and uh, sometimes it's called the NB voltage or North Bridge voltage. Those two settings is very important. I'm going to discuss the basic overclocking in this 102 tutorial, and then I'm going to uh, discuss what, what is uh, GTL and stuff like this in the uh, uh, socket 7075 um, overclocking uh, 202 video tutorial. So it's going to be a next video tutorial. By the way, all those video tutorials they're going to be uh, in the different videos, and they're gonna yeah, if it's going to be on YouTube, they're going to be split into the parts. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be a bunch of parts. All right. Um, so uh, the first thing when you overclocking your computer, I suggest you go to the voltage uh, settings where you can adjust manual voltage and set your uh, GP, uh, CPU voltage setting or V core on some motherboards to um, 1.5 alright I'm not gonna be pretty uh, exact here 
what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna tell you the average and that's gonna work with any CPU on socket 7075 and then of course you need to tweak your voltage then uh, to make it lower or higher it depends on your overclock and we're gonna discuss this later on in this tutorial but for now I would like you to set to 1.5 alright and then uh, go to the north bridge voltage or NB voltage and set it for uh, 1.281 just one step up on the voltage so then what we're gonna do we're gonna click escape or we're gonna click we're gonna click escape um, escape and save and exit setup or like this or you can click the F10 it's going to do the same thing anywhere you are in the bias and click Y and enter it's going to do just save and exit and restart your computer so um, why I'm doing this uh, uh, as my first uh, thing for overclocking just because I know some other boards doesn't pick up the bunch of information at the same time and uh, if they're gonna pick up the frequency first and it's not gonna be enough the volts it's gonna freeze up your setup and over the 10 years of the experience uh, on some motherboards I saw that it's probably not 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 on all of them but on some so that's why we're saying the voltage first and then we're gonna set the frequencies for the CPU and overclock it so voltage already gonna be set and motherboard not gonna think uh, too many times about the voltage so we're gonna click yes it's gonna save the voltage to the CMOS um, you know sometimes it's gonna take two seconds three seconds four seconds if it's gonna take 30 seconds on your computer not booting um, what you need to do you need to uh, shut down the power switch behind your power supply wait 30 seconds put it back online and sh uh, just plug in uh, just you know try to turn on your computer if it's not gonna help at any overclocking settings if it's gonna happen you need to open your manual of your motherboard and look how to reset the CMOS uh, usually uh, you, you should do it physically on your motherboard some motherboards has the uh, button insert and if you're gonna hold that insert button what it's gonna do um, all right, all right. I see. I set it uh, 333 megahertz times six. That's what's going on here, and it's two gigahertz right now. It's one gigahertz lower than uh, it's from the manufacturer, and uh, it's probably uh, with that voltage. I probably need to adjust something else. But so it's gonna save it. It's gonna put in, and you're gonna uh, hear that beep pause and as you can see it's doing it again and again um, well just just because my CPU frequency is so low and the voltage is so high motherboard probably thinking that something is wrong in here but that's how I said it accidentally by six uh, the lower multiplier that the CPU can allow and we have the a very high voltage on I mean. it. Alright, it's just gonna reboot, it's gonna take it. Alright, so uh, this this motherboard takes few reboots and I have my uh, overclocking uh, enable, I need to recovery enable, I need to click on disable so it's not gonna take two or three times, it's gonna take it at once because when it's enabled it's just checking a lot of things well anyways um, if we're gonna go to all voltage we can see our CPU voltage stating 1.5 and this motherboard it's so awesome it's just giving you the default voltage for the CPU and it's 1.2250 for the for this Intel Core to do E8400 it's like 45 nanomicron CPU chip and some motherboards not giving you the um, 
default voltage and uh, what you need to do you need to open your box and uh, on the box it's supposed to say the voltage on the Intel CPUs on the box the voltage is saying between minimum